Simple Pokemon cards just like these can be worth hundreds of trillions of dollars. You guys just need to understand that I just got you. Yeah, we're talking about dumb wrestling trading cards today. I got you, so now you have to stay and watch. I've wanted to talk about these guys for a while. Um, the comic shop I work at, we just had a bunch of freebie cards for the new generation. So, uh, if you didn't know, the new generation did in fact have a trading card series. I don't think it lasted particularly long, but I wanted to show some of the really fun ones I found. So, first, we have Bret Hart, my favorite wrestler of all time. And I gotta say, that's a really good card. I wouldn't mind like getting a poster of that picture of Bret. I think it's a very solid one. Then you got Owen. Um, this is kind of shorter hair Owen, but, you know, still really cool. I'm glad to have anything with Owen, basically. <laughs> you have original Mankind before he was even in the dress shirt. Uh, still my favorite version of Mankind. I liked the, uh, the more, like, living in the sewer creeper Mankind. Also, a real nasty scar on Mick's shoulder there. Next, you got Gold Dust in his debut appearance with the wig. Uh, not my favorite incarnation of Gold Dust, but uh, I, I've always liked Dustin Rhodes, and Gold Dust as a whole has always been a really good character. Uh, so this is Royal Rumble Sean. We just got an Ultimate Edition figure of this costume, um, and as you can see, there's like no stats or anything on the back. You're literally just trading the wrestlers themselves, I guess. But good, Sean Michaels. Uh, before he was a superstar, Rocky Maivia. Uh, definitely not the most iconic version of Rocky, to be sure. Also, uh, you can't really see it here, but do you remember his curly hair? I uh, made him look like a cartoon character. Then we got Stone Cold Steve Austin, like pre-goatee Stone Cold. He just has the mustache in there, so that's pretty solid. Like the early days of the Ministry of Darkness Taker. So, let's see, not my favorite look. I know a lot of people love Ministry Taker. I'm not one of those people. Hunter Hearst Helmsley, really solidly done there. Um, not anyone's favorite version of Triple H, I'm willing to bet, but still really fun just to see a card of that version. So, that's fake diesel. <laughs> if you weren't aware, after Scott Hall and Kevin Nash went to the WWF, um, WWE just tried to reboot them, put new wrestlers in the role and say, oh, this is Razor and Diesel, and they've always been Razor and Diesel. That's Kane. That's Glenn Jacobs dressed as Diesel, trying to cosplay. He did that for about a year. It was really weird. Uh, next up is Vader. Gotta say, love Vader. Hated his WWE run, but I think that's a pretty common viewpoint to have. Uh, one of my favorites. You have Ron Simmons as Farouk. Um, this is like early Nation of Domination. Which, by the way, Nation of Domination does not give its proper due. I loved that stable. Um, and it helps that it had so many amazing wrestlers in it at various points. Like you had, of course, Ron Simmons. You had D'Lo Brown, Mark Henry, The Rock. You even had Owen Hart in the nation for a little bit. But still, pretty cool. One of my favorite nobody jobbers ever, The Goon whose whole gimmick was just he was a hockey player. Uh, they actually made him a tell figure of this guy recently, so I'm really happy to have that card. Uh, hey kids, you wanna hear about my wife? She's only 16, <laughs> kill, kill. Uh, I don't like Jerry Waller. Uh, Psycho Sid, I love though. You ever hear the story? Is that how you spell that? <laughs> I'm just looking at the, is that how you spell Psycho Sid? I, I that might be a mistake on that card. Uh, Ahmed. I just listened to the Bruce Pritchard episode of something to wrestle about Ahmed Johnson. Such an interesting guy. I would love a, a figure of him. And you gotta think, right? Not a great wrestler, but wow, what a star. He had the it factor just oozing out of his pores. I, I hate that they never did more with Ahmed. Then again, he was hurting people. Flash Funk. Uh, to anyone who's an ECW fan, this is, of course, too called Scorpio. And uh, not the best time of his career, but still, you probably get a cool toy out of it. Papa Shango, which of course went on to be the Godfather, or the Godfather, Godfather, um, he was, uh, what was it, was it Kama Mustafa? No, that was with Iron Sheik. He, he was Kama something in the Nation of Domination, but, you know, everyone knows Charles Wright mostly as the Godfather. Brackus. Only thing I remember about Brackus is he was supposed to be fed to Lex Luger and they never got that far, so, poor Brackus. Uh, Wild Man Mark Marrow. This guy's super cool. Um, if anyone doesn't know, he was married to Sable before they separated. He was treated really bad in the WWF, but now he's like a positive speaker and like uh, he, he's done a lot of good stuff for people. I, I have a lot of respect for Mark Marrow. Uh, I definitely like Mark Marrow more than Johnny B. Bad because that's like 
a gay stereotype and also blackface, which isn't a good look for anyone in 1999. Ah, yeah. And then for anyone who is unaware, JBL, the guy who uh, made his career off of Fences, Texas, um, he started off as an actual cowboy, Justin Hawk Bradshaw, and no one ever talks about it. So, those are all the WWE cards I have. Except they're not. Um, so these were all new generation cards. These guys came out like during the Ruthless Aggression era, so these are like 2000 era cards. I want to see like what type of differences there might be, aside from the obvious of they're gold-plated and tacky and look awful. Um, so this is the big show. Uh, you do have a write-up there on his career in the back, but guess what? You can't read it because it's all gold and it's been kind of worn down. I do want to say this, though. They list his weight as 600 pounds, which I don't think the Big Show ever was 600 pounds, but, you know. Yeah, Vinnie Mac. He's here to ruin WWE again after Triple H saved it for the past seven months. A uh, decent little card. I think it's fun. Iron Sheik. This is great just for the memes. And then who do we have here? Uh, Andre. So, I actually really love the fact that I don't have many of these gold play cards, but I have Big Show and Andre, which, if you don't know, in kayfabe, Andre is Big Show's dad. So, only in wrestling can you take a dude who you have no connection to and be like, yeah, he's my father, and everyone just roll with it. Do to do We have the Big Boss Man. <laughs> if you go down to Georgia, remember the laws. Oh, man, I love the Big Boss Man, and this is, of course, from the era where he was feeding Al Snow his dog and uh, telling Big Show that his daddy was uh, was uh, dead. Why am I daddy? Oh, my daddy. <laughs> Because you're a big fat bastard, Big Show. <laughs> he got Big Show's mom to say on national television that he was a bastard just so he could scream, You're a big fat bastard, Big Show. <laughs> I, I love the Big Boss Man. He's amazing. Ah, uh, Gorilla Monsoon. Um, I, I adore Gorilla. I think that's great. Cool little card there. Also, I love the fact that they're ruthless aggression cards, but they do like a lot of older people. Also, you got Jim Ross here really weird to me how their clothes are always so bold and yet the skin tone is so dark. I guess it's great for contrast, but it makes them look kind of evil. And we got our last card here, British Bulldog, during his era of wearing blue jeans. And how fitting that we began this video with the Heart Foundation members and we ended off with a Heart Foundation member. Overall, like, these aren't amazing cards. I'm trying to find a good... Here. Like, they're not, they were cash grabs. And Topps is doing these to this day. I'm not buying any of the Topps WWE cards, which maybe I should just because I think they'd be fun. I do have some of these AEW packs, but I'm never going to open them because, like, the only reason I own them is because they came with toys I wanted. But, yeah, wrestling cards aren't anything worth uh, getting invested in, if that's what you're thinking. These aren't going to give you money. These aren't going to be notable in any shape or way. If you want to invest in wrestling, just buy WWE stock. That's the reality. But, alright. Dumb video. It's probably going to flop. I just wanted to talk about it. <laughs>